Hello everybody, this is Bench85. Welcome back to another episode of Surviving Minecraft. And I'm up here on top of our little power generation building. Um, I finally built it up. It's not bad. I'm, I'm not thoroughly impressed with it, but I love the fact that I can walk through these lines without actually getting zapped. <laughs> but I decided to make some sort of a little, what looked like a little substation relay system here with all the wiring and stuff. It was the best way I could do it with what it allows me to do with immersive engineering. Um, I also had to output twice here because I wanted to run two wires worth and well high voltage only allows one connection unless it's a relay and relays can only connect to a post so this is what I'm stuck with but we basically have two lines ooh, ooh, headed over here um, that center stack is obviously very temporary uh, we're going to be building a big bridge here uh, to go across. It's actually going to be a double layer. It should look pretty cool because uh, we need a train coming through the bottom. Train tracks and stuff. I've also been playing around with blocks in here. This lava stone is absolutely awesome looking. And it also provides its own light. So I think I'm going to use that for the whole bridge here. And this stairway is still temporary until we start figuring stuff out. I also got machines and stuff in here. Uh, just started. So I think I'm going to have a row of machines along this line, um, at least to a point here. There's going to be some processing stuff over here. So the big crusher and things like that from immersive engineering is going to be off in this corner probably, or maybe that corner, I haven't decided yet. Um, we got our smelter in here, which will probably get a little bigger. You can tell that the uh, Christmas update, like always does in uh, Minecraft, is available because while well, it's Christmas Eve here when I'm recording this Christmas Eve day and uh, all the chests are now presents and then I think we're gonna put our ME system terminal somewhere right in here it's gonna be big and it's gonna be I think pretty awesome looking but the problem is, is we need stuff um, we are short on materials and we don't have anything we need to get the ME system running we have plenty of power power is no longer a problem and we have machines, so we have that part figured out. I gotta fix this corner up. But if you look here, we have no iron. We have all these ingots, but no iron, all this specialty stuff. And we're gonna need a lot of iron. We got a little bit of redstone, stuff like that. So I think today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to head out. And we're gonna go find ourselves some of those uh um, what are they called? The stencil things for uh, ME. Uh, we're going to have to go find some of the craters where the meteorites hit and grab those and set stuff up. So I will be right back, guys. Alright, guys. So here we head off again. Off exploring. It's been a little while since we've done this. Um, I actually emptied out the chests here, or I moved them, so we've got plenty of room, and I believe we are headed the wrong direction. I'm pretty sure we have to go this way. Let me double check by the map. So we want to go to meteorite site, meteor hits. So right here is one, uh, there's one here, there, where was that really crazy looking one? This thing, I want to see if this is one. I think there's lava in it, there's one over here, so we should have plenty on our map. Yep, I already see this one. That we shouldn't, or we should be able to get all the items. In fact, it's right above us here, or right in front of us. You can see the big crater hit. I'm going to have to come down in here for a landing, and we're going to see what we got. And hopefully, I think I, my pick is the right um, mining level that we should be able to get it. I'm just going to come in here, slow down. And I notice now that they actually parachute you out of it, which is kind of interesting. And I think that's going to start settling towards us. So, we were looking for this kind of a meteor, and we're going to need some of this um, sky stone, which we can mi mine. So, that's a good thing. So, if you remember, we have to dig to the center and find the chest in the middle, right here. We get one sky stone and we get inscriber logic press. Okay, so we got one of them. 
I don't really need the uh, the chests at all. Do you see any iron sticking out anywhere? Because we are short on iron. No, I do not. Sometimes these are good places to look for ores. Just because it uncovers a lot. I don't see anything. I guess we just... Oh. Got stuck in our boat. There we go. Well, I guess it's off to the next one. Rise up out of here, so I think we gotta go... Oh, why is there some... Show some baddies right over here. Is there some sort of a... Uh, I don't know. See if we can see something. Something right in that area, but I can't tell from here. I apparently ran... Oh, I ran into the ground. Ha <laughs> ha. Alright, so we're going to have to go and find the next one. This is another pretty area here. I just... I love these mountains. The flying mountains. They're so beautiful. So our next one is going to be... I'm not even sure where we are right now. Where are we? Right here. Um, so I think I'm going to head straight down. Let's see, there's a ravine here. Straight down and find this one down here. So straight this way. Kind of. So it's going to take me a little bit, so... I might as well bring you guys back when I get down there. Otherwise, all we're doing is just traveling. Unless we want to chat. I don't know. But I'll, I'll probably bring you guys back. There's going to be a lot of traveling here. So we can chat on one of our other trips. That Those are melons. What biome is this? Like a little... Is this a jungle? Jungle edge. Yep. Sweet, so we got jungle trees and stuff. I did not know that. I'll have to remember that, because jungles sometimes are hard to find. Is it all jungle edge, or is it actual jungle? Because this right here, where I'm coming up to, that should be actual jungle. Should switch here. Yep, actual jungle. Nice. But... Oh, and there's a village right here, too. Yep, right there. Anything good there? Doesn't look anything substantially exciting. It's a nice volcano. That one actually built correctly. That one looks nice. How far do we have left to go? Uh, we got a little ways to go. Looks like we got more jungle here. I guess we are sticking around chatting. Might as well, right? Not a big deal. We're actually going to get there sooner than I realized. Another slime island. I just like exploring and looking at the terrain sometimes. We got some more mountains here. I know I could probably put some more fuel into the engines on this thing and it would burn faster, but... It isn't that much of a difference, and really, just flying along like this is a lot quicker than walking. So, it's really nice having this Archimedes ship. Like I said, at some point we'll probably play around with the submersibles. Because you should be able to go underwater with it, and that could be a lot of fun. I don't know. It's something I've never been able to do very much with uh, with Minecraft, is, is underwater stuff. Okay, so it is one. It just looked really strange. Let's get out, not over the lava, hopefully. That was a good dismount. Sword out. Alright, so let's head over here. Let's see what we can find inside of this one. 
Apparently hit a lava pocket or something. Or maybe they do that now. It's that's a whole lava pool. It's actually really cool that they did, they did that. So this looks to be about the center, right? Just gotta make sure that we see up on top that there we go. Inscriber logic I already have calculation press though. I do not. So we've got two of them. And if we look, I think there is just four. Uh, that's all pneumatic craft. Oh, Pistronics, cool. There's big gears and stuff now. Ah, here we go. So we got Inscriber, or Calculation, Engineering, Logic, Silicon, and then there's a name press, but I'm not worried about the name one. So basically there is four of them that we need to get, and we've now got two of them. So on to the next meteor. I'll see you guys in a little while. All right, looks like we got the next one here. Not too far away. So let's see what kind of luck we have with this one. Now, if you didn't have a mini map or something that you could go off of, or you didn't have as much land um, explored as I do, uh, let's see. No, that's another logic one. Darn it. Um, you could make the meteor compass, which I think I did last last season, and that will actually lead you to the closest meteor. Now, the only problem is, I'm trying to remember, if you take the chest out, I think it might let you look for the next one, but I'm not entirely sure. So we've gone to, here's our main base. So we went to this one, we came down to this one, and we came to this one. So where's the closest one nearby? Not seeing any more. Well, there's one over here. There's one over here. Didn't I have one? Okay, there's one up here and there. Okay, so we should head up. Where are we at the moment? Right there. So if we head straight up, a little to the left, we can hit this one. Wait, wasn't there one closer? One there. Looks like there might be one right here, actually. Oh, right there and there. Okay, so let's head up just a little bit over here, and we'll see. I feel like there might be something over here, but sometimes it's really hard to tell based on how the, the map looks. So it's easier to zoom out like this, go into third person view and take a look at the map as you go along. Um, where is that spot? I think we're coming up on it here. There's a big basalt basin area here. I don't know why Discord is actually giving me notification things, because I thought I had that turned off unless it updated and changed all my settings. So it's not supposed to give me notifications when I'm recording. At least that's the way it's supposed to be. So I apologize that things are going off. Oh, there isn't one here. All right, so I got to head up to the next one, and I'm gonna have to check those Discord settings because I don't want those going off. So, see you guys in a bit. Next one up ahead here, and you know how I said about I love exploring and looking at terrain and stuff. I just went over, not too far back, a uh, double volcano. They were side by side. They both spawned in halfway decent, and in the center, it went over a ravine so you could see the ravine sticking out through the ground um, from this the twin uh, volcanoes it looked really neat um, we can actually probably swing back by that way 
I'll show you guys it. It's just crazy how things generate sometimes. So let's hope we get a little more luck this time. I feel like I'm not quite in the center. This is also a bigger one. Oh, there it is. Calculation press. Calcu oh, really? We keep hitting the same exact two. Trying to save my fuel. I'm at 58% already. Oh. Ah, oh, shoot. Forgot that I don't want to click with that. It's alright, I'll just burn through some more jetpack fuel. <laughs> alright, so let's turn her around. I'm going to head to the next one. We got one more over in this area, and then we got two more that I know of on the other side of our base. So that'll be a bit of a trip headed back that way. But I want to show you guys this, this volcano. This was crazy. Uh, just back this way a little bit. Just outside of this giant redwood forest. Which, I always love those wood redwood forests. So where is it exactly? It's right back. Right back this way, I think. Yep, right here's the volcano. Here's number one. That one didn't form completely. But it's not bad. I think of it more of they're, they're slowly building themselves, kind of. So here's the second peak over there. That one's got a nice lava flow. And then look at this. Right down the center of them. There's a giant ravine. It's hard to see with the boat. Oh, it looks like it spreads out a couple different ways. Like it's a double ravine. Oh, and there's a mine shaft in there. Ooh. Let's, uh... Let's set a waypoint here. Because this is kind of a neat one. Um, double volcano ravine. We're going to make it red. Although it's in the air is where it set it, but that's okay. Because that might be handy in the future uh, with that. Um, the mine shaft, the whatever you want to call it. Poop on the ground. We're going to have to play with animals too. We're going to have to get them at some point here. But, alright guys, I am going to continue on. A little sandy region here. And we're going to find some more meteors and hope we can find the rest of these presses. Well, didn't realize there was another one right here. And, ooh, almost nailed it. Trying to nail the landing here. Yeah, there was one sitting here that uh, didn't know it was here. Inscriber engineering, there we go. Now we got three. Perfect. Um any iron? I know I haven't been looking lately. Yeah, this one was kinda hidden right on the side of this uh this mountain side here, so I almost didn't see it. Not really seeing any iron in here. But we're not going to be able to do Emmy without having um, iron. Because it's pretty iron intensive. Oh, wait. Hey, come back here, boat. Sometimes it gets really weird. So. I just happened to notice this. There was this little spot here that I thought, oh, hey, that looks kind of like a meteor. But we're headed back. This was where we started, so we got to hit this one and that one, so I think I'm going to come down here first. And then, uh... Did I check that one? Yeah, I did. There. No, I did not. Okay. Um, i got to turn back around. 
Oh, right there's some iron. Alright, so I missed one. But, you guys get the idea. It's just going to be a lot of this running around trying to find stuff. But we need to set up... There's more iron. Um, we're going to have to see what we can do about getting like an ender quarry or something. It's something I haven't used. I've always used the uh, mechanism um, miner. Digital miner. I think we're going to use an ender quarry in these mountains here. And just mine out this mountain area quite heavily. But uh, let me go find this other one here. And uh, I think you guys get the gist of what I'm doing here. I don't think I'm going to keep you around any longer. I'll go find the last press. We'll head home. And then we'll see what we need to build this ender quarry. See if we can get it built today. And then in the next episode we can work on setting it up and start mining some stuff. Which means we're going to need some power up, power uh, of some sort uh, to power the ender quarry in place. Haven't decided how I want to do that yet. There it is. There's this one. Oh, well, maybe we can find this one together. Just as night's about to settle in again. I'm just going to come in, drop down a little bit. I know I can't really see. Do like that. We'll hit shift. Oh, there. There's two meteors spawned in side by side. I have never seen that before. There's the chest. We got calculation. We've got engineering. So that one doesn't help us, but there's a second one right here. That is crazy. I've never seen World Spawn do that. Logic, calculation, engineering. The three that I have. Darn it. Alright, well, that means i got to continue on to the other two that I know about. So, I'll see you guys when I get back home with all four presses, hopefully. We're looking for the silicon one. I'll be back in just a bit. Alright guys, so I was looking up the under quarry and realized exactly how much of a pain it's going to be. Diamond pick, we can manage. Ender infused obsidian, we can manage. I mined up a bunch of obsidian. But then things get a little more complicated. We got ender thermic pumps, ender infused obsidian. This is all stuff we can make pretty easily actually. I uh, just need some lava. I got some ender pearls. I think we can do that, no problem. But then you got the ender cores, which mean more ender infused obsidian and magical wood, which has to do with enchanted books. And then the real kicker the computational matrix. It takes burnt quartz, which means we need a block of quartz, which means we need the nether. So guys, we are going to step into the nether for the first time. And I have no idea how this is going to go. I got my jetpack on, full power. I've got my um, hang glider ready. I got my sword in my hand. Hopefully we don't crash anything here. First load of the nether while recording. And Ooh. Looks like we actually got a pretty good spawn. I wanna grab some nether act just in case here. No, this actually is a really good spawn. I'm I'm actually happy with this. We got some nether quartz right here. Oh, that's right, we got those. I forgot about the nether ores exploding. I think if you silk touch them, you're okay. Well, we just got a bunch of things. Can't complain. Ow. 
Well, this is going to be a lot more fun than I realized it was going to be. Dealing with nether ores. Alright. So we need to get more quartz. And then we're going to have to process it too. Ooh, cobalt. We can't get that. We need, uh, I think we need ardite. We need to look for that. This is really pretty. Metallurgy 4. Um, looks like there's a decent amount of quartz in here. Just got to make sure to mine it out before it explodes, and then we're good. Um, I don't know how much I need. But I'm also going to have to grab some... Um, Ooh, iron is good. Uh-oh. Pigmen are not happy. Okay, so that config change is not in place. I may have to do some work. Ouch, ouch, ouch. So, alright, but we're going to have to do some more look. I'm going to have to gather a lot of stuff. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. So thank you all for watching, and as always, take it easy.